Grand Rising Beautiful Soul Family, I'm Coach Susie and welcome to the Beyond Abuse Podcast. So I heard something very encouraging today and I I feel emotional. I don't know why, but he said, set the intention for the relationship in the beginning. You know, so I've been calling them needs and expectations But in the beginning of a relationship, set your intentions for the relationship. Man, that was the best thing I could have heard today because no intentions were set in those relationships, in my previous relationships. You know what I'm saying? And he also said that, you know, so, and then when the intentions are are not being met or something's off, you know, let's talk about it and see if we need to change intentions or what we need to do. And then if it still's not working, then that may be the time to end the relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like, just set your intentions. So, you know, I've been saying expectations and needs, you know, because I am going to express that up front, you know, going forward in my dating. Um, but... <laughs> Oh my goodness, that just really set my soul. You know, so many things have been set my soul free today, you know? (laughs) Like none of those relationships in my past even matter because this is 2021 and I have not, you know, I have not dated anybody. I am almost at 11 months, June June 13th, or actually this coming Sunday will be 11 months, uh, abstinent and single. So um, while dating, you know? Um, cause I will still date, you know, there's nothing wrong with getting to know someone and then, all right, well, you know, if it doesn't work out. So we're going to draw a card and, um, divine God, spirit guides, angels, guardian angels, protecting angels. Thank you. Messengers of light. Guardian angels, thank you. Ancestors, ascended masters, thank you for the messages, for for spirit that we can hear. Thankful and grateful for Archangel Gabriel's uh, protection and help assistance on this journey as I communicate these messages to everyone and anyone who needs it. And remember, always take what resonates, leave the rest behind because it doesn't matter. Okay. I love you and I thank you for this opportunity to serve. It is a privilege and an honor. So be it and so it is. Amen. All right. So one more shuffle and we will see what the message is. I'm going to cut it or messages. You know, we may, we may get a few that, that pop out. So, you know. We'll just play it by ear. And one, one did, one lonely card popped out. This says, child, you care deeply about children and they really respond to your love. All children, including your own inner child, require love, affection, and attention. We can clear and open your heart and schedule so that you can give more time and energy to the children who need you. Wow. So that's what I do. That is my business because that's what I desire to teach so many people to do is to care for their inner child because what I found out When I learned to love myself over these past six years and I learned to love that inner child back to wholeness, because what what it is, is that when when people trigger you, it is the emotional wounds of the little child or whenever you experienced your trauma or whatever. You know, for me, you know, my trauma started at the age of two years old. So I have some deep wounds, you know, like my, I was in a police station because my mother was on the run 
you know, and the police took her to jail and I was there too. So imagine this little girl crying, you know, and I had this nightmare. I wrote about it in one of my books, but imagine this little girl crying because like this person, she has not, she's only two. So there's only a certain amount of people she's seen, you know, and who comes to her rescue? Her grandmother. You know, my grandmother was the, my mother. My mother was pretty much in jail my entire life. You know what I'm saying? So. But I thank God for my grandmother because who knows where I would be. So from the space of that wounded child, you know, from one wounded child to another, I want to show you that it can be done. And so me crying about that, I know right now that that's a wound that I have to heal. That's another wound that I have to work on is... Her being left alone. Her being left alone and her still thinking that she needs to be alone. Um, so, you know, you know, I'm thankful for what I've been through and that I get to teach it. But I'm also learning with my students, uh, my my clients. I'm still learning, you know, like every time I go through the challenges I'm still doing the work, you know, every 30 days. I'm still doing the work for the holistic program, you know, loving yourself unconditionally in every area, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, relationally, and financially, you know, and it's about creating a balance. And so that, you know, that's what I'm learning too, you know, and, and remembering to that that man has still has a little boy inside of him, you know, that still needs attention and love. But make sure you that you in a relationship now see in my community, I have no problem with loving on that that little boy, you know, that that inner little boy. And, and nurturing and guiding that inner, you know, that little boy on the inside. But in a relationship, I desire a man who has already gone and loved his inner child. And, you know, I can nurture, I can nurture and, and love it, but he's not projecting his pain anymore, you know, because you do get to that place where you don't need to project your pain. You know, you, you can talk, you can ask questions, you know, and Here's my thing. When people be like, I'm fine, this means that they're they're emotionally un like if they really have a problem, right? If there is really an issue, if there's really an issue, I'm recording what's going on. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, if there is really an issue, then you communicate that. You know what I'm saying? So Somebody who says I'm fine, but they're really not fine or I'm good, but they're really not good. They are emotionally unavailable. They are not in touch with their own feelings or they're still feeling like, well, even if I say some, say my feelings that they won't matter and they do, your feelings are valid. And so, you know, having this card, you know, like I've said plenty of times before, I love on my inner child and be the healthy adult I need it so that I can be that healthy adult for my daughter. You know what I'm saying? So, um, and that's what it's about. And, and the card earlier today said play. And that's how you heal and love your inner child. Like, fine, I'm a firm believer of doing the things that you enjoy doing as a child. Put more of that into your schedule, please. Do the things that you used to, to enjoy doing before people told you not to or before the abuse. Go back there. Because as adults, we, for, we forgot, right? We've, we've had all this pain that we've experienced over the years and and we've forgotten about that little boy or that little girl, and they still need some time. 
They still need to play. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. It is so necessary for your soul. And I am a firm believer of that. And that's what I teach in my 30 day challenge. I, like I want you to put yourself on your schedule. I want you to have that self care time, that me time, cause you need it. No person is going to be there 24 seven for you, but you, and you gotta know how to love yourself and care for yourself before you get into a relationship. The best relationship that you will ever have is with yourself. And if you can't even like yourself, then baby, I'm here to tell you, you're not going to like nobody else either. You know what I'm saying? So, and it's, it's a daily grind. It's a daily job. You got to do it daily. Because old shit comes up. <laughs> this card signifies that a child is affecting some aspect of your question. This could be your own child. Your desire for a child, a young family member or your present or future work is helping children have ch have children been on your mind lately if so this card is proof that whatever you've been considering is valid this includes spending more time with children and looking into areas of employment related to young ones your life purpose involves helping children. Be as a child. Pay attention to your inner child. A child is in, in heaven is saying, I love you. Pregnancy or adoption might be a part of your life. Yeah, so, I mean, I know that, you know, I, I will, I don't know. Really, I guess this is what this is telling me, maybe. You know, that maybe that's what I'm really supposed to do is, is work with children, you know, and, and teaching them self-love. Cause I know that it is for a younger demographic. I definitely know that, you know, um, because they're the ones that really can change the world, you know, when they love themselves, you know, even, even if they still have those parents who are, you know, trying to steer them and, 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 in their direction, because they still don't realize that our, ch that their children have their own journey you know, and we are really here as guides. There are guides, we're their guides. You know, we're here to guide each other and you know, you can you can teach them, you know, what you think is right from wrong, but ultimately they also have to find out for themselves. And I know as parents we 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 really want to protect them in every way that we possibly can, but they are here to learn their lessons too, you know, and we got to be okay with that. You know, we got to be okay with allowing them some, some independence and freedom to be who, who they came here to be. You know, I think so many times our parents want us to be like them or want us to do what they do. And it's like, I came here to be me. I came here to be me. I can't be anybody else. I can't be who you want me to be. That's in relationships with anybody. You know, I came here to be me. I didn't come here to be you. I came here to be me, but I can support you on your journey. And that's all I ask from you is support on my journey. That's all. Because I think that that's what we're here for. We're here to help each other learn and grow. And those are the the most beautiful relationships ever, you know? When we can work together for a common goal and not work against each other. So um that's how that's how I <laughs> that's how I think anyway, you know, because I mean I'm I'm living it, you know. I'm living it, you know, it's it's a it's a lifestyle. You gotta be willing to to do it if you want to change because it does happen 
I, I mean, I believe it, you know? So, um, but that's pretty much all I have for today. So, you know, if you are new to my channel or new to the podcast, I want to say welcome and thank you for joining me today. I'm so happy you stumbled upon the podcast or the YouTube channel. Um, I invite you to become a subscriber to the YouTube channel, a subscriber to the podcast. And when you subscribe on YouTube, click the bell for notifications. Uh, I invite you to become a listener supporter. Your monthly love offerings of support um, go to uh, the mission of a mother's touch Inc, it, which is to provide co-parents and families with love, nurturing guidance and tips on how to become a healthier, happier, more holistic version of themselves and to assist men and women financially who are leaving domestic violence relationships and struggling financially. You know, when I, when I decided to create a mother's touch Inc, I said, I wanted to be an organization that I needed when I couldn't pay my rent, when I couldn't pay my light bill, you know what I'm saying? So that's what your, um, love offerings go to support, you know, now I'm realizing I need to have funds for law assist, you know, legal assistance for clients. I would love to do that because I'm in a predicament now where I need funds to retain. Well, I have the retainer already. We retained the lawyer, but now I need the balance, um, which is 1250. So I'm still crowdfunding for that, you know? So now, now what I want to do is create the revenue in a mother's touch ink to be able to assist with legal assistance, you know, because you get in these situations, you get in these situations and you need a lawyer, you know, because you, yeah, you can go and file pro se, but I've done that and I'm not going to do that anymore. I, I, it's time for me to use my resources, you know, and, um, you know, I'm, I'm blessed and grateful and thankful that my rent is paid and my bills are paid. You know what I'm saying? But I don't have the extra funds for the lawyer, you know? So, um, all donation, all love offerings are greatly appreciated and needed. Uh, and a special thank you to all of my YouTube subscribers and regular listener supporters on Anchor, Apple, Breaker, Google Podcasts, Pocket Cast, Radio Public, and Spotify. Thank you for your listener, for your continued support. It it is greatly appreciated and, and so needed, right? Especially right now at this time. So thank you. I appreciate that. Um, if you enjoyed the topic today, I invite you to subscribe to my monthly self-care newsletter. And receive a free ebook download from Victim to Victor, How to Live an Empowered Life Beyond Abuse. Uh, if you want to order a signed copy, it is there as well. You just have to order it. Uh, and that is $10. Um, the ebook was created to move you from victim to victor and help you live an empowered life beyond the abuse and depression of your past. This ebook might be the push you need to redirect yourself toward a more peaceful, happier existence. The self-care newsletter also provides tips, tools, and resources on loving yourself deeper every day. You will also receive a link to join my Facebook private community, which is a challenge community, and it's 30 days to a healthier, more confident version of you. It's a 30-day challenge that's ongoing every 30 days. Once you're approved to join, you can jump right in at day one. I'm active in the group for questions and encouragement, or you can also DM me. You will also receive a 25% 25 25 discount off the five poetry book bundle and 15% off any product. Um, and to subscribe to the newsletter or to purchase products, you visit suzysuttles.com or copy the link in the description box below. 
Love offerings of any amount are greatly appreciated and accepted. Send all love offerings to Cash App, which is dollar sign a Mother's Touch Inc. And Mother's is with a Z. Or you can do that on the website, which is www.amotherstouchinc.org. If you or someone you know is in need of financial assistance, please fill out the form for financial assistance. That's all I got for you today. I love y'all and I thank y'all for joining me. But before I let you go, you know I got to send a prayer of love out into the universe. So let's go ahead and do that. Let me take a sip of water first. Dear universe, I love you and I thank you for uh, just, just for your love because that's always enough. It is always enough, even when I don't think that it is. It's always enough, so I'm thankful for that. Um, this is a different time right here. <laughs> like, I was so fearful of being alone that I stayed in situations that were not the best for me. And now it just feels amazing to just not, not need it and to wait. to set the intentions and to love the inner child. Show that person how to love the inner child. I'm thankful and grateful for every single person that is listening today, that is listening on YouTube or the platforms. I cover them in a bubble of protection that is three layers thick, that is surrounding, that is surrounded by the healing blue light and healing blue energy of Archangel Michael and the healing green light and healing green energy of Archangel Raphael. And I infuse love into that bubble. I send love and light to that bubble. Protect each and every one of them. Love each and every one of them. whether they are a subscriber or not, because that doesn't matter. Love is love. And that's all that matters. And I'm thankful and grateful for your love, for your protection, for your peace, for your strength. I love how you love me. I love being with you. I love how you protect me and provide for me. How you keep pushing me to be the truest version of myself. To stand in my power. To recognize that I don't need to run from those energies because when they project those energies onto me, my energy transmutes it and it sends it back to them. So I don't need to run from that. I don't need to hide from that. I love you so much. I like. And now that I said, since I decided to trust in you. Keep molding me, keep shaping me. Keep reflecting everything that I need to heal. I love you. You're everything that I am. It is a privilege 
and been honored to serve in his capacity. To share my light, my love, and my energy with others. To give them messages that they need to receive or that they're asking to receive. Because guidance comes in all forms, not just in one. And I'm thankful, I'm thankful for you showing me that there are no rules or regulations concerning you. That we, we can use whatever brings us closer to you, whether that be a Bible or oracle or tarot cards. We need to take our minds out of the box of who you are and how you love. Because that shit is unreal. And you can never love someone if you, if you can't love you deeply. We have the best relationship with ourselves, which is you. <laughs> how ironic or how funny that you would do that, <laughs> that you would put yourself inside of us <laughs> and have us looking all over the place for you. <laughs> I think that is the funniest thing ever. And we're fighting about who you are. I love you so much, guys universe, whatever it is that people want to call you, because <laughs> it really doesn't matter, right? The name doesn't matter. <laughs> so thank you. Thankful and grateful to see another day. So let's rock it out. Let's get her done. And so be it. And so it is. Amen. I love y'all. I thank y'all. I want you to go out. Have an awesome, amazing, and beautiful day today. From my heart to yours, as always, namaste. If you experienced rejection, abandonment, trauma, or abuse as a child, you may find it difficult to create a healthy, happy, and holistic life. You are not alone. I am Coach Susie, and I am a survivor of addiction and narcissistic domestic violence abuse. I was raised by a mother who experienced narcissistic personality disorder, and I experienced every type of abuse. I was rejected, abandoned, and traumatized before the age of 10. As I grew older, I attracted these same type of relationships into my life because this was my life. It was all I knew, and it was what I was accustomed to until I introduced myself to something different. In 2015, I left a 20 year unhealthy and abusive relationship with a man who struggles with narcissistic personality disorder. And I began a journey into loving myself unconditionally. It took me five years to accomplish living a happy, healthy and holistic life and that was primarily due to the lack of financial and educational resources for people like me who were severely traumatized as children and grew up in impoverished neighborhoods. The Loving Yourself Unconditionally movement was created from the mind of a traumatized child who struggled for years with self-doubt and low self-esteem. But I learned to love herself unconditionally beyond past abuse, and thrive successfully in life with PTSD, bipolar disorder, and ADHD. I struggled to love myself unconditionally due to the mental and emotional abuse I received as a child. The voices of doubt, fear, and not good enough would constantly haunt me until I began to change my mind. The Loving Yourself Unconditionally Movement is a community of people who desire to learn practical and effective ways to love themselves unconditionally beyond abuse. The Loving Yourself Unconditionally Movement is not about chasing perfection and trying to be perfect. 
It's about learning to love yourself unconditionally in every area of your life, no matter what that looks like. It's about becoming the healthiest, happiest, and truest version of yourself, no matter what that looks like. If you are ready to learn how to love yourself unconditionally beyond abuse, pre-register today at suzysuttles.com. Everyone has something to teach us. My question to you is, are you ready to learn?